your first Alert 5 weather with Alex O'Brien. And welcome back. Good Saturday morning and happy August. The last day of July was a little odd. Both Colorado Springs and Pueblo were at 90 degrees and Pueblo did see a bit more cloud cover. We did have some rain about a quarter of an inch. No rain in Colorado Springs. So today very similar in terms of very spotty thunderstorm activity. Uh, we're not looking at more widespread rain until tomorrow. So should be a good day to be outside. Lots of sun to start here in Colorado Springs and it's 60 degrees right now. Pueblo waking up at 59 and we've got the clear sky in place and in general today is a clear start. We won't see anything develop until later this afternoon, but look at this cold front to the north. That cold front will continue to dive south and will impact us tonight and increase our rain chances. That system as a whole really will be impacting the Midwest and the central Great Plains. But by tomorrow, things do shift a little bit further south and we see that cold front back up into Colorado, giving us some better upslope flow and rain chances. So you'll see the changes here. 89 today, cooler tomorrow to 83 in the springs and a greater chance of thunderstorms between today and tomorrow. For Pueblo, 91 today, 88 tomorrow, so a little bit of a cool down. Plus, that cold front brings us extra moisture for thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon. So let's plan things out here hour by hour today. By 9 o'clock, we're already seeing 70s outside. Lots of sunshine in place through late morning. And by noon, we're seeing more 80s. Couple of 90s here in the lower elevations along the Arkansas River today. And then we'll start to see more cumulus clouds develop in the late afternoon in the mountains. Very spotty thunderstorms are possible in the foothills and mountains today. A couple of them might make it to I-25 this evening. This is paused around 7 o'clock. So in general, your day should be dry here for the springs in Pueblo. Might see that activity pick up later tonight. Moving further south towards Walsenburg and Trinidad by around 9 o'clock. Here comes our cold front. What it will do is give us an easterly component to the winds, bring in that extra humidity and push it up against the mountains, increasing that lift and we'll have more rain shower activity by tomorrow. By 430, we have active weather into the mountains and then some of these storms will move past the I-25 corridor pretty quickly. So between about five to seven, Colorado Springs, Pueblo, we could see a strong thunderstorm. Then those storms will move into the plains and dissipate pretty quickly after that. Highs today, we're looking seasonable or just above average. In general, we're looking forward to cooler temperatures tomorrow thanks to that front. We have enough energy for an impact three day. We could see a severe thunderstorm tomorrow and Monday. And then we're looking at more spotty rain shower activity into next week. For Pueblo, we're likely dry today. Might see a stray shower, but the better chance of that comes Sunday and Monday. And in general, next week will be in the low 90s, about average. Canyon City 90 today, cooler tomorrow to the 80s for Sunday, Monday. Do watch for those rain chances today, increasing tomorrow with some stronger convection. And Woodland Park, we've got 70s for the weekend ahead. Should be nice and comfortable, but do watch for a strong thunderstorm Sunday and Monday. Renee? I don't know. I know it's still early. It's only the first day of August, but I kind of thought it would be a lot hotter to start <laughs> things off, and it's not. What's up with that? You the know, cold we're front, just right? seeing a nice, a nice pattern where we're not getting that ridge of high pressure overhead. But hopefully this pattern stays because I don't know if I want more 90s and purple digits. I'm with you on that. Like, yeah. I, I, I hate to even have this conversation. I'm speaking it into existence right now. <laughs> so why don't we just move on, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> 